Hey, Beartooth community, uh, it's Michael here. We wanna go ahead and create a step-by-step -step video to help you get up and running on Beartooth as quickly as possible, and I've, I've invited two friends to help me out. I'm Taylor with the Montana State University Graduate Networks Lab. I'm Ellie, you guys know me. Great, so Ellie, why don't you go ahead and go into the Google Play Store, right. uh, find the Beartooth app, and download it. All right, so I'm just gonna search Beartooth. See the apps right here and click that and press install and accept. Right. Well, it's downloading. Why don't you go ahead and show people how to turn the Bluetooth on yeah. into pairing mode? So on the outside is the Bluetooth button. You're going to hold it. And once it starts blinking, it is ready to pair. Great. Now to save time and make the video just a little bit uh, better pace. Taylor already downloaded the iOS app from the iTunes store, so go ahead and open the app and show people how you pair with the Beartooth. Well, well the app's coming up. Let me just show you. You want to be on the lookout for the serial number of your Beartooth device. So Taylor's ends in 344. So we'll go to Settings. We'll look to pair the Beartooth device. So we see that it says 344. Select pair, and we're going to allow. Great. And enter the app. All right, so I'm ready to get connected. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open settings on the Android side, and it's scanning. You can see my serial number ends in 0327. And on my phone, you can see I have a bear tooth ending in 0327. So I'm going to click that. All right, it's paired. So going back, it's connecting my bear tooth. All righty. So why don't you swipe the left tray to go ahead and open up the menu options. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and name your device in settings, then user. Great, so we'll go ahead and show how to do it on the iOS device. You're gonna go ahead into settings. Settings. Display, name. And save. Great, so now Ellie's gonna go ahead and she now wants to uh, add Taylor, so she's gonna go into people. People. She's gonna hit plus. And I'm gonna hit scan. So now the device is gonna go look for uh, Taylor's device. Perfect. So yeah. she's gonna check the box and hit save. And you can see the save button right there. Great, now Taylor's gonna to go to his contacts. He's gonna hit plus to go look for a new contact. Uh, he's gonna scan. Go scan here. And now his device is gonna look for Ellie. There's some fancy network math that guys like Taylor create to make sure the devices uh, know where to find each other at the right point in time. So here's Ellie. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and save her. Go ahead and hit done. And we're done. And why don't you, Ellie, uh, send ta Taylor a message? All right, so, so I'm gonna what, click Taylor, and it pops up. And Taylor's gonna go ahead and click Ellie so he knows to get an inbound message from her. Right. You're gonna both hit message. Uh, why don't you send Taylor a text message, Ellie? Hey, Tay, send. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Now, you guys are sitting next to each other, but why don't you go ahead and send them a map location? Okay. Perfect. And let's take a look. And we will allow. Great. So now, uh, Taylor knows where Ellie's at on the map. Mm -hmm. All right, so why don't you guys go, both go back. Oh, go ahead and send a voice message over to Taylor to say, hey, okay. Taylor. Hey, Taylor, it's Ellie. Oh, and so you should. So go back into, go ahead and you can send a message back by clicking on message. So go ahead and send Ellie a message, voice message. Hi, Ellie, this is Taylor. Great. All right, so why don't you guys go both swipe back to your main menu tabs. Okay. Uh, one more, Ellie. 
to your main menu and go ahead and go to group. And this is, we know that the two of you both have a lot of friends, so you can start building a group with all your friends. Uh, so go ahead and hit the plus sign. And you see Taylor, or go ahead and name the group. I'm gonna name the cool kids. I, unfortunately, I probably will not be invited to this group. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool kids is saved. Okay, so now you wanna go ahead and go back into the group, go to the settings of the group on the upper right, and go ahead and invite Taylor. So you can see the invite button here. Yeah. Okay, so now it pops up on Taylor's iPhone. He's gonna go ahead and accept the group invite. And only one person has to set the group up. So now Ellie, Ellie owns the group, so why don't, you, why don't you, Ellie, now go send a message um, and go ahead and hit talk. And why don't you go into your group? Go ahead, you can just leave it in, this, in the frame, okay. that's fine. Go ahead into your group. So you're gonna go into the cool kids and go ahead and just uh, send Taylor a message. Say, hello, Taylor. Hey, Taylor, how you doing? And then why don't you send a map location and why don't you send a text? Perfect. And we're cool kids for life. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now you've seen how to set up your Beartooth, in including naming your device, get your apps, set up groups. So the final thing we'll do is, and we'll just, since they're so close uh, in functionality to save a little time in the video, we'll just show how to do the uh, offline maps on the uh, in the app. So go ahead and hit Maps, Ellie. And... We're going to go mountain biking all over Bozeman. So why don't you zoom out. Just, uh, actually, go ahead and choose. We want an outdoor map. So go ahead and drop down. Get the satellite in the streets. Okay. And zoom out just a little bit because we're going to take a long mountain bike ride. Great. Okay. So now go ahead and save that. And I'm going to call it um, MB, short for mountain bike, today. And download. Perfect. Awesome. So why don't you swipe all the way out of there, go back to a conversation, tell the cool kids, hey, we're going, go to your group again, tell okay. the cool kids you're going for a bike ride. Cool. All right, so that went ahead and went into the cool kids group. Now I want you to swipe out to your main tray. Okay. Uh, go back into your maps. Okay. Search. Now search for the offline map that you created. MB. Sweet, MB today. There it is, right there. So now when you go off grid, you just go ahead and pull that in and it'll be saved uh, in the device memory of your smartphone. So I think that concludes our quick start guide by video. We hope everybody enjoys their Beartooth. If for some reason you have any further questions, go ahead and shoot us a note at support at Beartooth.com. Uh, thanks and we hope you have just as many adventures with your Beartooth as we do every day here.